Hello guys and welcome again to the channel. On today's video, we are looking at this new plugin from Solid State Logic. This is Blitzer. As you all can see, it's a compressor with character. And when I look at it, I actually feel like this has got similarity with a distressor plugin. So I think they've actually made a distressor plugin in disguise. Because when you look at all the features like the 1 is to 1 to 20 is to 1 ratio, that's the same thing you see here on this UAD distressor. And this nuke button is actually the blizzard button here that engages all button in. You've obviously got your high pass and uh, drive, which is same as all this distortion and the high pass you have here. And then you've got the input, the output, and the 10 is to 1 ratio is actually emulating an opto compressor. So if you look on the website for this blizzard on SSL Logic State, it does say that 10 is to 1 ratio attack of 4 to 10 and release of 0 is emulating an opto compressor, which is the same thing we have here, 10 is to 1 opto compressor emulation. This is actually a distressor. So let's have a listen to how it sounds. But before that, actually we'll talk a bit about a few features they've added here, which is not quite on the distressor. This transient, I believe, is not there, which helps to recreate what's been squashed. And then, You've got this auto gain, which is really cool, especially when you're struggling to sort of balance how much you've compressed. So apart from that, the rest is quite uh, the same, like the attack, the ratio, the release, and the high pass, the sidechain detection here. So let's have a listen to how they sound on this drum kit, and then I might pull up a vocal quickly before we wrap up the video. The HQ button here obviously engages over sampling, which helps with a uh, cleaner sound with a bit of uh, more processing power, but it does help with the sound. So you've got a parallel processing there where you can have it either on represent or mixed in with the original sound. Then the bliss obviously turns on all compressor, which is more like the all button in we talked about. Then you have your release there that you can play with. You have the attack. That's the high pass filter. So there's also some presets here which you can uh, go through if you want to sort of get your head around. And let's quickly see how this actually sounds on a vocal. But before that, if you want to get your head around the settings that suits your kind of sound, you can head back to their website because it does say what it suits, like the material, especially this one. It tells you about vocal, especially a bit of bass, drum, mix. They have this one that says about vocal as well to them drums, the solid state FET. And it tells you how to set it up to get the same uh, character. Let's head back to the door and I'll try it quickly on a vocal. So I've got this vocal pulled up here. Let's quickly set this up in an opto mode, which says 10 is to 1 ratio. Attack about 4. And release at 0. So let's get this going. We turn out the light. The two of us alone together Something's just not right But girl, you know that I would never, ever let Another touch come between the two of us so no one else will ever take your place no one else comes close to you No one makes me feel the way you do You're so special, girl, to me 
And you'll always be eternally Every time I hold you near You always say the words I love to hear Girl with just a touch so there you go, guys. I quite like the behavior of this compressor on this vocal, especially when you push it a bit more, if you're like uh, the vocal going through a nice sounding tube. So I hope this is helpful, guys. Don't forget to like and subscribe to the channel. Until next time, also leave me a comment down below what you think about it. Share the video and I'll see you then. Bye.